Banksia Hill will get an influx of guards from adult prisons in a bid to make the juvenile detention facility safer for staff and detainees. It's part of plans by the state's new Premier and new Corrective Services Minister to address long-term issues at the troubled facility. Juvenile detention in WA has become known for destructive riots and violence, with 450 assaults on youth custodial officers in the past 12 months. Look, this is just not acceptable and it must stop. Legislative changes are now planned to allow prison officers, who usually work in adult facilities, to boost staffing at Bankshire Hill. They'll undergo working with children checks and be given specialised training. If having more adult justice uh, workers in Banksy Hill enables the facility to be run more appropriately and the young people to be allowed out of their cells more often and to be participating in programs, it's definitely welcome. The group also backing the appointment of an Aboriginal health service at the facility and a team of elders who will mentor detainees who we hope will be also be able to, to help mediate any incidences safely. While the Telethon Kids Institute will be brought in to provide specialised training to staff and work with detainees with foetal alcohol spectrum disorder and other neurodevelopmental conditions. They can assess individuals right down to individual characteristics and the manner in which you might manage that individual to get the best outcome and also de-escalate potentially um, situations that might be getting bad. At last we've got a situation where there's something to actually be a little bit positive about. I'm really pleased to see there's been a shift on Bankshire Hill um, for, from this government but I, look I do have concerns. Mr Pettit says training must ensure adult prison officers don't create a more punitive environment and he's concerned Unit 18 isn't closing. The minister says the separated section of Casuarina Men's Prison remains the best place to house the most challenging juvenile detainees and that'll continue in the short term unless a review recommends otherwise. James Carmody, ABC News.